So this is a video about how YouTube has helped me as somebody who is small channel, I'm not monetized, I have slightly over 1000 subscribers, I'm almost 30, as somebody who is constantly learning about herself and the world around her and her own mentality and her own, you know, fears of creating as an artist, as an aspiring artist, also learning about the crafts, um, how YouTube has helped me in the process of myself, my own ways of communicating, my creativity and the things I've created, and also with discipline and consistency. So if you want to hear about that, then stay tuned. It has really helped me with my discipline and my consistency because I post every two weeks and I also make it um, you know, visible and known that I post every two weeks. So even though there's nobody there to really push me into it, I need to push myself just because I know I put it out there. I know I told people um, that I post every two weeks, so it really forces me to be consistent. It's like when you are working in a coffee shop or co-working space or in an office in general, just because you're surrounded by people who know you have certain deadlines, you feel more you know, productive to actually meet those deadlines rather than if I would just post every now and then. Um, so it has really helped with my discipline and my consistency and therefore also helped me create system for myself so that I could meet those deadlines, uh, especially in the beginning when I was learning things. I would really not know how everything worked, which is natural, you keep learning, but then it forced me to create systems that made it more productive and more, yeah, faster to get things done because I have to meet the deadline. Another thing, especially as an artist who creates art for specifically for the videos um, and also for real life, obviously, but I am an art channel and, and I really enjoy talking through my work and showing people my art. And having that deadline has forced me to be more creative because now I wasn't only creating art for myself, but I was creating for an audience in a sense. And that means that I have to have something to show for. And that also pushes you to be more creative because maybe if I didn't have this deadline, I wouldn't create new things. So, and also, especially last year when I got robbed, I can put the video, I guess it's this way, yeah, there. Um, I lost my iPad and I was mainly doing illustrations in my videos at that point, but because I had the deadline to meet with my videos, um, also lost my camera equipment and all of that, so I was creating videos on my phone. Uh, but it forced me to be creative and just use whatever I had in hand. And I think that's so important, such a good lesson to learn. And also that's how I started painting more and that turned into me having an exhibition in Madrid and without me kind of forcing myself to create stuff even though um, things were more limited or it wasn't as I was expecting, um, it really pushed me out of my comfort zone and it really pushed me to create things that I'm really proud of today and for me to go into a different direction as well. So I'm really grateful for, for that. And another thing it has really helped me with is to just put your work out there. Um, when you're consistent and you consistently are putting yourself out there and especially I think coming from short format videos, I think it's kind of more daunting creating long format videos and you're kind of exposing more of yourself. So in a way it's also could, you know, be even more hurtful if you get mean comments or anything like that. Although I've been getting very lovely comments and um, that has also really, really pushed me to create even more because it inspires so, 
inspires me so much because that's really one of the big things I want to do is to inspire others to connect with their creativity and yeah just like learn from life and yeah I just want to share whatever I know and that we can all learn from each other and have a community but the point here is before I start like going into a whole other topic is that it really helped with yeah my fear of rejection and it's funny because I used to be that girl that would like barely take her hand off in the school class and um, that was always quiet in class I would always only really like feel comfortable joking around and being open with people who um, who I really knew like just my close friends and um, I think I slowly realized that um, just being rejected and being judged in many ways often doesn't really have anything to do with you um, Obviously, we can always learn from our experiences and always strive to be better human beings. Um, but I think it's also important to understand that a lot of the fear is just a fear. And also, if you do get you know, a mean comment or something that's not constructive, to just not take it personally. And creating these videos have been a really good way for me to practice that and yeah just being vulnerable in the videos and sharing my thoughts which I really enjoy but um, yeah it's been interesting to see how I'm slowly getting more and more comfortable in front of the camera and it's really helped me with the fear of failure as well because you have to fail in life, you have to try things and things won't work out and especially creating videos, there are so many aspects, different aspects that you need to learn about when it comes to filming and presenting and putting it out to people. So it's a long, long learning process. Although there's a lot of different things you can learn from the internet, but it really is a practice. Um, so the fear of failing has become something that has really, you know, decreased the more you create these videos. Uh, and especially in the beginning, because in the beginning nobody's watching your videos, let's be honest. <laughs> uh, nobody. So at least that gives you an even more clean slate to just create whatever you want to. And the more you do it, the more you realize that it's not that dangerous and that you can be, you know, experimentative and try new things. I think a lot of people start creating videos and they hope for a lot of views. Um, but that could also be daunting at some point, you know, a lot of views, a lot of comments, a lot of different perceptions of what you've created. Uh, but in the beginning, it's really like you realize that it really gives you the freedom to experiment and try different things, um, which is really good. Another thing is that it has really highlighted the fact that everything is a learning process. Life is a learning process. YouTube is a learning process. And I think when you take the mindset into that, that you're not supposed to be perfect at creating something um, straight away and you probably never will because what is perfection? Okay, that's another topic. But um, <laughs> I think it's um, understanding that everything is a learning lesson and if you choose to take it that way, if you choose to see it in that way where you're constantly learning and constantly wanting to prove and obviously if you find it fun to do, like find whatever activity that you would like to do and enjoy the learning process, enjoy the process, the journey in general, not just the destination. I think when you have that mindset of, okay, even if I fail and even if nobody is watching it or maybe it's not too interesting, maybe I actually like that topic I was talking about wasn't interesting or whatever it is, it's all a learning process. Even if I create something and I'm not happy about it, like sometimes I even post that too, just because 
well, it's a part of my process and um, I'm still learning and I think that's a fun way to look at it as well. And I think it's fun to be on the journey together, realizing that we're all learning, we're all in the same boat in some kind of way. So yeah, I think that less you have judgment for yourself, the easier it is to actually like put things out there as well. Um, but yeah, that comes with time sometimes, at least for me it did. Another thing that it has really helped me with is becoming a better communicator of really putting, communicating well and talking uh, and also being more present when I'm talking. I think before I would have the tendency to kind of rush through my words. Um, so I think that's another aspect of, you know, maybe feeling like whatever you were saying was not interesting. But you get very aware of how you communicate by creating these videos because obviously you're editing for hours and really looking at whatever you have created, whatever you've done, what words you're saying, and obviously with time, if you pay attention to certain habits you ha have, certain filler words you keep using that might not be necessary, uh, the tempo in which you speak, and also whatever communication style you like to listen to. Um, you can hear the same information from five different people with five different ways to communicate. So it's also a lot about preference, uh, but I think finding a way you like to communicate with people and you like to share your ideas, I think it's just a useful thing in general in life. And also to communicate your ideas while being present with other people and yeah, making sense when you talk. Um, I'm still working on that, obviously, um, but I think it has really helped me with my ways of communication and setting up a story and storyline and, yeah, creating more of a story behind it, but also just being more clear with the sentences you create in general. Well, that is some of the ways YouTube has helped me in this whole process of life that we're in uh, that it keeps helping me with and I feel like I will enjoy like as long as I'm enjoying making these videos I will keep doing it um, and as long as other people are enjoying it as well and feeling some kind of feeling like it's helpful in a way or yeah like they get something out of it so that's really my main purpose of sharing things that you know, can inspire people and yeah, I think that's my main purpose with this channel. So hopefully that was interesting and I will be creating, continue creating these videos. Um, I'll see you in two weeks, I guess. Everything I do for the aesthetics, jungle vibes. That's what we all live for, right? This is cute. <laughs>